Hello friends, myself Sunil Kumar Jadav. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see one important chapter, chapter 5 of standard 10, that is subject science from NCERT textbook. Periodic classification of element part 2. In part 1, we have learned 5.1 making order out of chaos, early attempt at the classification of element in which we have learned about job brainer classification of element that is we called as Dobrainer's triad. In this we are going to see about Newland's law of octave. We know that Dobrainer's triad was very good but in that he has classified the element and there are only three groups he found which is applicable to his classification. So it has the limitation and this system of classification into triad was not found to be useful. So the next scientist had tried that is Newland. In that video, one of the mistake I did that is of SR, the symbol of SR I was spoken that is cerium, but it is strontium. So please correct it in that particular video. If you have not seen that video, then see that video first and then come to this video. So you will understand this part two. Let us begin. Chapter 5 Periodic Classification of Element Part 2 Again 5.1 Making Order Out of Chaos Early Attempts at the Classification of Element This is 5.1.2 that is Newland's Law of Octaves The attempt of Dobrina encourage other chemists to correlate the properties of the element with their atomic masses you know at that time only atomic masses were known so on the basis of that only they were trying to classify, classify the element in 1866, John Newlands, an English scientist, arranged the known element in order of increasing atomic masses. He started with the element having the lowest atomic mass and ended at the thorium, which was the 56th element which was known during his time period. He found that every 8th element had the property similar to that of the first one. Remember this. Every eighth element has the property which is similar to that of the first one he has observed. So what he did he has find out the properties of all the known element during his time that is 56 elements were known during his time he has find out the properties of all and he found that every eighth element has the property which is similar to the first element. He compared this to octave found in the music. We know in music there is a note that is Sare Gama Padani in Indian system. And in Western we know the note is Do Re Mi Fa Sola Ti. That way he has the classify element. He compared this octave found in the music note. Therefore he called the law of octave every eighth one eight means octa on the basis of that he said that newland's law of octave that every eighth element has the same property of that of the first one it is known as a newland's law of octaves we wrote this newland's law of octave so on the basis of that he has classified every eighth element has the property similar to the first one so it is known as the newland's law of octaves in newland's octaves the properties of lithium and sodium were found to be the same you can see that lithium and sodium has the similar property similar way you can see that barium and beryllium and magnesium had the same property boron and aluminium have the same property similar way carbon and silicon so see this way the he has arranged this element in an increasing order of its atomic masses. Similarly, beryllium and magnesium resemble each other. Beryllium and magnesium had the same property. Lithium and sodium had the same property. Boron and aluminium has the same property and that so on. A part of the origin from Newland's octave is mentioned in the table. You can see as we saw the note sa, re, ga, ma, pa, da, ni. Or in Western, it is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. Every eighth element has the same property of that of the first one. If we will start with the lithium, you can see this is one beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, 
oxygen fluorine and sodium you can see the first one and the eighth one has the similar property if it will see that is this one is first then this is second third fourth fifth sixth seven and again eight so again you can see beryllium and magnesium had the same property so this is how he has been classified the element on the basis of the musical note but he has also certain limitations so now we will see about the limitations of this classification what are the limitations let us see one by one it was found that the law of octave was applicable only up to calcium as after calcium every eighth element did not possess the property similar to that of the first one so it was applicable only up to calcium after that they are not having the similar property uh, even after means as we know that first element has this i mean eight element has the same property of the first one it was not applicable after calcium so this is his first limitation it was assumed by newland that only 56 element existed in the nature and no more elements would be discovered in the future but later on several new elements were discovered whose properties did not fit into the law of octave he has assumed that only 56 elements are there and after 56 there will be no element find out but we know that right now there are 118 elements present in the periodic table so that was his limitation that he has assumed that after 56 there will be no element will come and which will have the same property as which will fit into his particular law of octave table so this was the second limitation in order to fit elements into his table newlands adjusted two element into same slot but also put some unlike element under the same note you can see in his periodic table you can see this cobalt and nickel he has kept in the same here also they have he has kept in the same column so this is one of the limitation that he has kept in the same slot but also put some unlike element under the same note that is his third limitation cobalt and nickel are in the same slot as we can see cobalt and nickel are in the same slot these are placed in the same column as of the fluorine you can see fluorine chlorine cobalt and nickel he has it has been kept in the same column of the fluorine means it should have the same property of fluorine but it is not so they are placed in the same column as a fluorine and chlorine and bromine which have very different property than these element this cobalt and nickel is having a different property rather than that and that of the fluorine chlorine and bromine you know they are halogen and these are metal so they are have it is having a different property rather than this one so it is fail to put in this particular group iron which has resemble cobalt and nickel in property has been placed far away from this system you can see iron where is the iron it is here fe which is so much far away from this particular cobalt and nickel so these are the three limitations of the newlands periodic table hence this newlands classification is also failed and hence the new classification is required thus newlands law of octave worked well with lighter elements only and the higher element after calcium are not covered under this octaves law so other chemists and scientists were trying and fortunately mendelius periodic table has been prepared so next part we will see about the mendelius periodic table these are the two earlier attempt and earlier attempts are always taken into note because on the base on their attempt only the other chemists and scientists were trying and get to the modern periodic table so in next video we'll see the mendelic periodic table in this video also i am giving you the target of 100 likes please students like it and complete the target as soon as possible subscribe this channel for further update and share with your friends also thank you so much